to be planting some Monaco Bermuda grass seed. I need to spread some dirt out here. This area has just got some rocks. So I need to rake those up, put some topsoil out. I had to get bags of topsoil because every place that sold topsoil that could deliver it that is around here is sold out. It's been wet, like really wet for a long time. Just this past week, it's dried out. So they're all saying that they are busier than they've ever been. And they're booked out like six to eight weeks on topsoil. So I didn't want to wait that long, went to the store and bought the bag topsoil. I like this stuff. Um, it's got the least amount of mulch in it of any other topsoil that I think I've found. So that's what I'm using. I'm gonna try to fix up some of this, plant some seed and get this area over here on the other side of my ditch looking a little nicer because it's uh, kind of an eyesore right now. So let's go. Let's go. And spread some topsoil. And some Monaco. <laughs> Look who made it! Left tool, little tool, got some help today. Uh, real quick disclosures, let's see. The Baron Brug Monaco Bermuda grass seed was free. They sent that to me, didn't buy it. So there's your disclosure. Uh, other disclosure, we have tons of rocks. Rocks everywhere here, so, so yeah. No, that's part of the meteor. <laughs> part of a meteor? Ooh. I'm unearthing something here in my digging, so I figured I'd film it just in case it ends up to be a treasure chest. Well, not a treasure chest. Anybody have any guesses? Ah! Supposed to be something, here we are, two to three pounds of Monaco seed per thousand square feet and then covered with no more than one fourth of an inch of soil. Maintain moisture. Seeds should emerge in 10 to 14 days. I'm pretty sure that's about right. I felt like, which it feels like an eternity when you're waiting for seed to pop up. Superior seeded Bermuda grass for multiple uses. Genetically darker green color, excellent density, greater water tolerance, quicker spring green up, higher fall color retention. Cool. Um, I'll show you, so I'm gonna put this seed down and then I'll show you the, the Monaco that's coming up in the back. It's spreading, I need to fertilize it, probably a little bit heavier now. Um, get it to spread some more, but it is coming up and it's looking pretty good. Um, excited to see that kind of at the end of the season when it really thickens up. But uh, this area, I'm planning on maintaining. So I seeded that like at the end of the season last year, like right before the temperatures got way too cold, it just barely sprouted. Then it got cold and I was afraid that it didn't really establish roots very well. Some of it did because it came back and it's spreading now. But this I'm spreading at the beginning of the season. So this area we're going to get to see exactly how fast it goes, how it really works when you do it at the right time. Hey guys, so it is months later. I think I filmed, I think I put the seed down up there in the front like in June, maybe July. I really don't remember exactly when it was, but it's been months now. This is the Monaco section from last year. So this has been here about a year. This summer it spread like crazy and filled in 
awesome. It's looking really good and really thick back over there, but I'm keeping this a little bit higher. And next year, my goal is to level this, bring some sand out here, and maybe get this part real mode and kind of have like a little fairway looking thing right in here. Um, and then of course, I've got more seed to do another big project over on that side as well. But uh, this has been here about a year. And then I'll show you the uh, the bridges that I just seeded like two weeks ago and then the front section where the, the first part of the video was filmed. But right now I do have some pre-emergent to put down. This is from yardmastery.com, Dithiopier. Um, if you're looking for some granular pre-emergent, it's good stuff. I used this last year on the front yard and Alan Haynes sent me that last year. He sent me this again this year. Um, so thanks Alan, thanks Yard Mastery for that. I'll make sure to have a link to that in the description. Um, so if you're looking for some pre-emergent that's in a granular form to keep all the winter weeds out of your lawn, uh, it's good stuff. It worked for me really well last year. So there you go. And here's one of the grass bridges that I see. I've got another one over there. Basically the point of these bridges is because I've got this ditch that runs all the way through my, or around my yard. So to be able to get a mower, like getting the Titan or the Greensmaster 3100 over here, whenever I get that real mowable, um, I needed a bridge to be able to do that. So next year, um, I'm going to sand level this, make this nice and smooth and have nice real mode turf all the way over this and then continue onto that side over there. That's the, the goal anyway. So that's what uh, I just seeded with the same grass, Monaco. All of this is Monaco Bermuda grass seed. Did that like two weeks ago and it's coming in really thick and really nice. And so I'm excited to see what this does next year as that spreads when it wakes up from dormancy in the spring. And then here is the section from the beginning of the video. Yeah, I should have mowed it first and made it look <laughs> really nice before I showed it off, but I just kind of ran out of time. My plans didn't all jive together. So anyway, here we are. I just got to get this done. But this has filled in really nicely. My plan for this section is to definitely top dress. I'm going to bring in some nice topsoil, dirt, maybe even sand, kind of round this off. There's a couple of big rocks up there that I need to kind of cover up. So bring in a lot of dirt and sort of round this off and make it nice and smooth. And so if I have this sort of this sort of knoll, the grassy knoll over here that I can real mow again, make it look like my front yard, but um, over here where it's kind of a, a unique spot. And then, you know, of course, keep up the ditch and make this look really nice as well. And what's really cool about this is there are some weeds, if you can see behind me, but now I get to put in on pre-emergent. So pre-emergent is going to be huge in the spring to keep all the crab grass, all this junk grass from popping up in here so that this Bermuda can spread and look really nice all the same as the rest of my yard. So I'm excited about next year because I've got all these sections pretty much ready where I can now put down pre-emergent and that gives you just a huge head start on making it look really nice. Um, but that kind of does it for this video, I guess, because that's all the results. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. All right, so wait, this is this a weed? Uh, yeah, it's a weed. But do you want that? that one so we can pull this weed we can't pull that weed leave, the what? Yeah, I like we'll leave that the weed flowers. well I did spray roundup over here the other day I honestly don't know if I sprayed that or not <laughs> I don't think I did actually I think I I think I left it are you gonna ever mow the field behind your house you haven't been there in a while have you no you've been gone you've been on vacation well I've been here working and you have the audacity to come back here and ask me questions about what I'm doing with my yard. <laughs> yes, the tractor guy paid the whole backfield, but I took the Toro Titan and mowed all up in the trees over there. It looks awesome. You better go look at it. You too. Hey, quit questioning my activity while you're gone on vacation, people. Yeah, nobody took care you're of my calling. yard. <laughs> yeah, well. You're not wrong about that. I did not mow Love Tools yard while he was gone. It's rough. Hey, how's that looking, by the way? Where's the like an update video? Uh, the people want to know. You think this will come out before my video? So people. <laughs> yeah, the, at the pace you edit. <laughs> well, in case in case this video does come out before an update video, my yard was looking decent, and now I guess I missed like a day of watering. It's looking pretty rough. I'm kind of embarrassed to show it on camera right now. So I don't know. May uh, may not see anything until uh, my LT turf. May not even be able to do an LT turf on my yard this year. Does it look as bad as my yard? Rough, rough. Yeah. What a 